I'm gonna run a freaking benchmark for an entire year. Then I'll make another video a year from now explaining what the results were of said benchmark. Why? Well, because we love multi-part videos and making you wait for their conclusion. No, 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 seriously. This time there is a good reason. We've been saying for a long time that balanced airflow, leaning on the side of positive internal pressure, is better than very positive or any form of negative. But we've never done a formal long-term investigation and to our knowledge, neither has anyone else. So let's fix that. Vertigear's ergonomic S and Plus line gaming chairs make a great addition to any gaming setup. Check them out at the link below. Okay, first we need to actually establish what the different types of internal air pressure are. First, you've got negative air pressure. This is when the majority of the fan power in your case is focused on sucking air out of said case. Like if you had a rear fan, a top mounted AIO cooler blowing air up, and a single front intake. Then you've got positive air pressure. This is where the majority of your fan power is focused on pulling air into the case. If you flipped around the fans on your radiator from the previous example, it would become positive. And finally, we've got the mystical balanced or neutral airflow, where your airflow in and out of the case equal each other. The conventional wisdom goes like so. A negative pressure setup will end up pulling air into the case through small gaps in the chassis that are just unavoidable unless case manufacturers use some type of seal everywhere that two different parts of the case met, like your side panels to the case, for instance. This would completely destroy the usability of the case. <sighs> Because of air flowing through these inevitable gaps, dust is also sucked in and accumulates throughout your rig, potentially reducing cooling performance or even causing component failure if left long enough. Easy solution, right? With a positive air pressure setup, you'll be pushing air out of those cracks instead. But if you overdo your uh, positivity, it's gonna be really turbulent inside of the case. You might end up creating pockets of hot air that actually harm your cooling efficiency. And besides, no cases that I'm aware of are designed to have an intake on every single fan mount. So perhaps the more balanced approach is the answer. Now we here at the office have always rooted for balanced airflow, leaning slightly on the positive side of things because theoretically, and from our anecdotal experience, we found that it's a good balance between cooling performance, overall dust reduction, and actually being able to control the delivery of cool air to the zones in your PC that need it the most, like just under your graphics card and through your CPU cooler. But anecdotal evidence has never been enough for us here, or at least it shouldn't be. So the test today is to build three identical computers, one each to represent negative pressure, very positive pressure, and mostly neutral but leaning on the side of positive, since practically speaking it's impossible to make a perfectly neutral airflow setup. Okay, so I've gathered three sets of the same hardware. This is mostly, mostly some older stuff that we can actually do without for about a year. I've got three Fractal Design R5s and we're gonna put it all in these different cases, shove it somewhere in the warehouse and then be good to go. So let's build. So now that that's all done, we were left with Audi, the case that I built and I had Tyler replicate it twice for any and in betweeny. Innie has all of the fans blowing in, the two in the front blowing this way, the two in the top blowing down, and the one in the back blowing in as well. Now the two in the top blowing down and the two in the front blowing in are actually very realistic. The one in the back blowing in is a little bit less realistic, but we just wanted to go hardcore with the theme. Audi has all of the fans blowing out. So the two in the front are blowing out, the two in the top are blowing out, and the one in the back is blowing out. And then in between E is a little bit different. We have the two in the front blowing in and two in the bottom blowing in, and then one in the top blowing out and one in the back blowing out. The reason why we did this was because the two in the front have to fight with this front panel, which is actually a lot of restriction and can only bring in air through the side. And then it has to go through a filter, a lot of restriction. The bottom has to fight with the fact that it's against the ground and has to go through a filter as well. So we wanted to kind of overpower the amount of air coming in because it had to fight against these elements. And then the air going out was just fan grills, no filters or obstructions or anything like that. So we only had two of those fans. A little bit of a different configuration, but should be fine. 
Now all we have to do is take these three computers and shove them way back there. All right, so we're somewhere that you don't normally see in Linus Tech Tips videos. This is behind one of the sets. We got the computers lined up, Audi, Inny, in between -y are all in a row. So after a year, we're gonna check how much dust has accumulated in each setup. I have arranged them in a way that they should have a minimum amount of backwash to each other. Uh, they're facing the fuzzy wall, so there's no direct intakes this way because the intakes on the front of the case actually come out of the sides of the case, so they're intaking from this way. Um, and then they're shooting air back out or in the case of any pulling air in from the wooden wall so that should all be fine um, and this is where I'm gonna leave them so now I guess we just turn them on that one worked that one worked that one worked and then we wait a year Braintree is code for easy online payments if you're building a mobile app and searching for a simple payment solution check out Braintree with the V.0 SDK, which is one small snippet of said code, you're all set up in less than 10 minutes, and they have support staff ready to walk you through the process over the phone if you need them. Their code supports Android, iOS, and JavaScript clients, and they have SDKs in seven different programming languages. They make it easy to offer multiple mobile payment types, including PayPal, Apple Pay, Bitcoin, Venmo, Android Pay, credit cards, and more, all with just one single integration. To learn more, head over to braintreepayments.com slash Linus. If you like this video, like it. If you dislike this video, dislike it. Get subscribed. Check out the description down below where you can see where to buy some stuff you saw in this video or a Linus Tech Tips t-shirt, which I'm totally uh, wearing right now. That probably screwed up the mic. Sorry about that. Uh, check out this video, which is a workshop video where we explore how cable management and keeping things unobstructed in your case isn't that important anymore, but you should probably still cable manage your cables anyways. And I'll see you guys next time.